Welcome to Tweety Voice, the world's first audio radio vocalizer, social media tweets, posts, daily news, and stories. Today is June 26, 2021. It is 1.57 a.m. Here's our first story. I think I might be ugly. Most viewed stories, the cut.com. I think I might be ugly by J.P. Brammer, June 25th, 2021. So I don't know if I'm a narcissist. Have extreme vision problems or my mirror is haunted by a lover crafty inanity warping my sense of reality. But I think I look good. Thing is, I don't think anyone else shares that view. I know this is typically the opposite problem for people who live with dysmorphia. They view themselves as being hideous despite being breathtakingly gorgeous. For me, though, I often feel genuine love for the person I see in the mirror. I feel enamored when I see flattering photos of myself. I love myself. Well, I do until I'm reminded I'm wrong for doing so. If I were to describe my appearance, I'd say I check most of the boxes of what could be considered conventionally decent looking. Not hot enough to have a recurring role in Riverdale, but still cute enough to be murdered as part of the B storyline. I'm happy with my weight and wear clothes that I think suit me and have average above tattoos and a perky ass. People don't tell me I'm ugly, but they don't tell me I'm beautiful either. And when you're beautiful, people tell you you're beautiful. It's pretty clear my confidence isn't terrible. I'm normally the first to message guys who are likely out of my lead because I don't want to write myself off. Sometimes it works. I've hooked up with absolute 10 out of 10s, which grants me some temporary pride and validation until I soon discover they just hook up with anyone simply because they can, not because I'm special. I know it's wrong to need validation from others. My self-love should be enough, but it's just not. I find myself deleting pictures of me on my phone instead of posting them because I know they're just going to flop. I give up styling my hair when getting ready because I know no one cares. I don't say nice things about myself because I probably sound delusional doing so. I think I'm good looking. I truly do, but how can everyone else be wrong? Bringing desire isn't everything, but being undesirable is a life sentence of nothingness. Sincerely undercover ugly. Hi there, on the cover. Yes. If self love manifests in a studio apartment, but no one is around to hear it, does it make a sound? I'm interested in this question because I too identify as an undercover ugly. I don't really have the self esteem you mentioned, but I do have a nagging notion that the narrative arc of my life is frequently interrupted by a certain inadequacy, one that I can't quite name but often feels a whole lot like not cute enough, and so on the cover. If anything, I say here sounds like tough love, just know I'm also directing it at myself. Don't you feel better already knowing that we're in this together? No, well, too bad because much like my failed dates at various Brooklyn bars with 4.3 stars on Google, you stuck with me for at least another few minutes. I'll start by asking what perks you think you hot people. I'll start by asking what perks you think hot people are enjoying that you are not. Per your letter, you say you feel good about yourself. You dress well and you hook up with people you find attractive. I'll have to consult Maslow's hierarchy of needs, but my gut reaction is you're pretty and doing pretty good. I too wish more strangers would remark on my beauty upon first laying eyes on me, but there's simply no accounting for taste. Either way, let us for a moment be a little ridiculous and entertain our sneaking suspicions on the cover. Yes, you and I were ugly. We fall outside the convention beauty standards set by society. People do not stop us on the street and ask us if we like to guest star as hot person in a sketch comedy web series. The guys we find attractive tend to pass us over because we simply fail to meet the criteria. Now, is any of that true? I don't know, nor do I think it's a particularly useful question. Here's a better one. If any of that were true, would we carry, would we card carrying members of the Uglies Only Club not deserve to feel good about ourselves? Would not be, would we not deserve love, romance, sexuality, the simple pleasure of wearing a nice outfit? Do you look at random people on the street and think that person has no business? business being so confident look at you on the cover living in a cage you yourself are decorated your leagues and your check boxes and your ratings one through ten and for what for whom how does this serve you and anyone else what are you doing if not failing your own imagination even if a good chunk of people were to tell you right to your face that you are not attractive well what do you, would you think well how'd you feel and what about your dolly given the right to define things for yourself to have your own criteria from what makes something beautiful or worthy or precious isn't that more compelling than just being born into praise from a sick culture that changes its mind every few minutes i'm not in the business of sugarcoating anymore. Anything. I can't lie. It doesn't feel like gravitating that great navigating a world that is made exclusively into a science. You can and will be excluded for any number of things in this life. Colorism, your size, the way you express yourself, the list goes on and on and on. A select few people will be deemed worthy and will be celebrated in ways you will not. You yourself will likely reap benefits from the whole process while others are punished. There is nothing fair about it. There were brutal things about this life. Sadly, until I collect a few remaining forbidden artifacts, I don't have the power to fix that for you right now. But concurrent to this harsh reality is another and not insignificant truth. To a certain degree, we have the power to name ourselves to determine
camera what we make of the hand we've been dealt. When I feel ugly on a cover, it's exactly that. A feeling, a story, a way of seeing myself, a method of moving clunkily through a world that doesn't want me. That's real. That's unpleasant. That's a place and I'm a regular. In life, though, we visit many places. I've also felt desirable. I've felt capable of giving and receiving pleasure, of being enchanting, of holding a secret gravity at the center of my existence. One that draws others in quite effortlessly. And why wouldn't it? The fact that I can't pitch my tent here in this place where I feel good is unfortunate. But movement is inevitable. We either learn or go or we suffer as we're dragged. In short, on the cover, human life is largely hallucinated. There is no gotcha here. You are not secretly ugly. Sure, when you're rejected or when no one retweets your selfie or when no one retweets your selfie and when you're just in a funk, ugliness can feel a lot more like the truth, but it isn't. Or if it is, then it's a temporary one. You aren't more or less deserving of anything based on your looks, nor is anyone else out there doing their best piloting a body. The most important thing is how you feel. If you feel hot, you're hot. So my best advice is just to be hot. Thank you. Please buy my book, Con Mucho Amor Papi. Originally designed, originally published on May 24, 2021. The Cut. Hola, papi. I think I might be ugly. Written by J.P. Brammer. Twitter. Tweety. June 26, 2021. 2.12 a.m.